Back on Sports Bit, Betty and Insight today. Time for Big Game Breakdown. As always, live on sportsbookreview.com. First up today, Russell Athletic Bowl. West Virginia against Miami from Orlando, 230 Pacific. Miami is 2.5, 57 the total. A lot of suspensions for Miami, but most of the guys hardly saw any playing time. The key points here, West Virginia D, great at stopping Big 12 spread offenses. We've talked about their defense, and Gibson doing a great job as defensive coordinator. But Miami runs a pro-style attack, Teddy. Yeah, I mean, when you think about all the great de- offenses that West Virginia shut down this year, they shut down Texas Tech. They did a decent job. Well, Oklahoma was the one team that kind of ripped them apart. But, you know, uh, well, I guess Oklahoma State kind of ripped them apart too. But, you know, the, the Texas offense did a nice job against and the Baylor offense did a nice job. And on and on down the line, there's so many of these big 12 spread offenses. And the Mountaineer D in that unique 3-3-5 style was well suited and played those spread attacks as well as any defense uh, in college football this year. But that's not what Miami runs. So the question now, is it defensive talent for West Virginia? Or is it a schematic issue for the Mountaineers that isn't going to have that type of an edge against the Miami Hurricanes? That's one of the key handicapping points for this one. Miami kind of had a unique season. They got up to the great start, stumbled in the middle, and then closed strong. Well, yeah. I mean, 4-0 straight up, 4-0 against the spread. Uh, down the stretch uh, of the campaign. And, you know, we have a first-year head coach in Mark Richt, who is, I always like the first-year coaches getting to take advantage of the extra practice time, install more, get players more comfortable with what they're doing. And, of course, you know, when it comes to the quarterback battle in this uh, matchup, you know, we've got Brad Kaya on the one side and Skyler Howard on the other. Both guys have inconsistency issues, but... Howard had more of them, man. When he was off, he was way off, and West Virginia stunk. When Kaya was off, the Hurricanes could still run the football a little bit. And uh, if you ask me who are these two QBs I trust more in a bowl game, it would be Brad Kaya over Skyler Howard. Okay, I'll agree with that. Are you surprised at the line when you, you talk about a good West Virginia defense and a team that lost in, in bad weather at home against Oklahoma, one of the hottest teams in the country, and then they lost in Stillwater, no shame there? Yeah, but when you look at the wins over bowl teams for West Virginia, you're not going to be that impressed. You know, they had a one-point win against Kansas State. That game was a, you know, coin flip. They had a three-point win against BYU. And remember, there was a bad spot for BYU. Nobody liked BYU that week. That was a coin flip. And they had the one dominant effort against TCU, frankly, wasn't very good this year. The overall strength of schedule numbers show these two teams are very even. The overall quarterback numbers show that these two teams are very even. The overall stats, both for offense and defense, show that these two teams are very even. Yet, I think those stats lie a little bit, especially with the strength of schedule-wise. I really do think the Hurricanes played a tougher slate of opponents than West Virginia this year. And I think that shows up in the bowl game this afternoon. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.